Yankee Clipper, Houston. November 20th, 1969. During their ascent back to the command module, Commander Charles Conrad Jr. and Lunar Module Pilot Alan Beam release the Apollo 12 launch vehicle and crash it back to the moon. Apollo 12, Houston, the ULM is on its way down. Roger. Upon impact, something very unexpected happened. The moon was said to have seismically reverberated like a bell for more than an hour. With Apollo 12, people referred to a crash. It wasn't really a crash. It was a aimed deorbit of the rocket used to lift off the uh, lunar module. And the crew separated the launch vehicle and crashed it back into the ground right close to where they had a seismograph that they had installed down there. Well, it vibrated, so it was kind of an early clue as to how solid was the surface of the moon. What was amazing about this is that suddenly the moon began to ring like a bell and did so for nearly an hour. Dr. Werner von Braun, who was then the head of NASA, decided that for Apollo 13, they were going to intentionally crash a heavier portion of the rocket into the lunar surface. And when they did this, the moon rang like a gong this time for over three hours into a depth of over 20 miles. This was not expected, and it still puzzles a lot of scientists today. The inference is that the moon must be hollow, because the moon is made predominantly on the surface of a kind of rock called basalt. Although it's a very lightweight rock, it also absorbs impact extremely well. And so if the whole of the moon was made of that kind of rock, you wouldn't expect it to reverberate when a large impact took place. The reason that this is played down is because the idea of the moon being hollow just contradicts what we know about physics. In his 1966 book, Intelligent Life in the Universe, renowned scientist and astronomer Carl Sagan defined modern scholarship regarding the composition of celestial bodies throughout the cosmos. Carl Sagan suggested that a natural satellite cannot be a hollow object. This is very odd, because why would the moon be vibrating unless it's a hollow object? That would suggest it's artificial. Significant portions of the moon may have been hollowed out. If that is the case, the chances are that was not achieved naturally. That would have to have been achieved artificially. This brings up the important question, who would have had the ability, the skills and the technology to do that? Certainly not us. That would only have to be the work of extraterrestrials and no one else. <laughs> 